Even when we come to the museum to appreciate art, so many of us appreciate our phones instead. Do you see people all the time using their phones when they're in the museum? Yes, <laughs> lots of selfies. <laughs> oh really, selfies? Yeah. Yes. Instead of fighting our obsession, the Seattle Art Museum decided to embrace it. So you open up your camera and then hold this up to the, okay. to the um, thing, I think. So I downloaded the app mm -hmm. and I just... Hold it up to look at the artwork. How many middle-aged ladies does it take to figure out? <laughs> uh, you open the app and with it you scan the artwork. Here we go, something's happening. Is this your first time using augmented reality? Yes, it is. Mm. Yes, it is. <laughs> what do you think? Um, it's interesting. You know, it'll be something fun to play with. The museum staff also hope it's something fun to learn with. Using technology called augmented reality, they programmed 10 paintings into the app. The app on this phone knows what the painting is just by holding the phone up to it. Mm -hmm. In a second, your phone recognizes this painting as Lake Light by April Gornick. With the clouds, there's a sense of the moment in time. Oh, okay. The app automatically pulls up more pictures, articles, even a video interview with the painter. All you gotta do is tap the screen. So why not just put this information, like, on the wall? Well, we want to encourage you to look closely at the artworks. Visitors have phones, and it's part of their daily life, and giving them access to content on something that they're familiar with is an easy way to connect the art to things that they already know. It's hard. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Well, some of us already know. So how did you get it? They'll figure it out. I have faith. Art imitating life, imitating technology. Loading. There you go. In Seattle, Dan Casuto, King 5 News.